welcome to Zarafa's place. Thanks for joining me, Eddie. Just heard to the fast window. Thank you. Go just in time, break your tea and your toes. You can start a family who will always show you love. Hey, honey, how you Hey, doing? good, how are you? I'm not too shabby. You have a free gun that if you want. Oh, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you. You too. We've been doing all this late night talking. The start of the new week and I'm honestly feeling really good minus my sickness everything else in my life I'm feeling pretty good with my week has kind of started off with a bit of a rocky start I got my period yesterday and that just really threw a spanner in the works one because my period is always regular but I never remember when it's coming so like I literally have it so easy and I still can't remember and secondly my body just didn't warn me that my period was coming so it was just a very rude shock yesterday at 6 a.m. it was a whole thing we hate to see it hence me starting my vlog on Tuesday because yesterday was just a complete write-off and I'm okay with that. It's Tuesday, it's almost 10 30. I'm about to head into a hair appointment. I literally just spilled coffee all over myself. Why am I like this? I just of course it's on the white bit of the jumper too. Not the blue, the green, the white. So Rachel and I have been going to the same hairdresser for years and years and years, pretty much since we left high school. I wish that I could like advertise her and recommend her to everyone because she's so good, but she's just a, like a small at home salon who isn't taking on any new clients because she's so booked up, which is completely fair enough because she's phenomenal. And normally we don't book our appointments in advance and whenever our hair starts to look not as good then we'll book in and we'll have to wait like maybe four to six weeks so last time we were like maybe we'll just book in for eight weeks time and like just stay on top of it but I feel like my hair is not ready to be done right now but give it a couple weeks and then I'll try and book in and I won't be able to get in in time I feel like you probably can't see in this lighting but I do have a fair amount of regrowth because my hair just grows so quickly but I am actually really liking the color it is right now so I think I don't know how <laughs> this works and because I've always asked for the same thing I don't know like what's actually possible or not but I think I might just ask to like keep this color and just fix the roots I think the last time we dyed it it was just a little bit too dark for me and I think I want to try and aim for a bit more of a natural brunette vibe so I actually really like the color it is right now I feel like car lighting is not really showing it properly it's actually growing so long I've been growing it for quite a while now but you know how every now and then you just look in the mirror and you're like whoa my hair grew so much overnight it's so long, which I really love. I had my time with my short hair and that time is over. It's a long girl hair era right now. I feel like you can also hear how sick I am in my voice. I feel like I've talked about this for ages and like no one wants to hear people complain about being sick, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So I had a really itchy, scratchy throat and like chest for a little while and whenever I would cough, it would never like itch the scratch, if that makes sense. And it was like weeks and weeks of this and I was just coughing all the time and I was so over it. So I had a doctor's appointment on the phone and she was like, oh, everything that you're saying kind of sounds like asthma. And I was like, excuse me like how do people just get asthma out of nowhere at their ripe old age of 24 but I was like okay fine so she sent me a script to get an asthma puffer she was like try that for 48 hours you should feel relief if it is asthma in 48 hours and we'll call and have another chat so I trialed that and at the end of the 48 hours I was not feeling any better at all like zero improvement so then we had another phone call and she asked if I had heartburn and I said yes and heartburn has been a thing that I've had for so long but I never did anything about it. I was always just like, oh, it's there, but like, one, I can't be bothered, two, it's not that big of a deal. And so my doctor was like, all right, we'll put you on heartburn medication and see if that relieves some of your pain, and we'll see how that affects your cough. And I was like, all right. And then after between like three to five days, my cough started to ease up and get a little bit better, which was really, really good, and my heartburn was gone. And it was one of those situations where I didn't realize how much pain I was in until I wasn't, and I was like, okay, like, I should have gotten heartburn medication a bit earlier. And then I was getting my hopes up, being like, yeah, my cough is going, I'm on the men, this is phenomenal and then I woke up the other day and my nose was running my nose is fully blocked Rachel's coming to my car come on in we have a special guest <laughs> I'm complaining about my sickness are you yes so after my hair appointment I have a doctor's appointment and I'm basically gonna just gonna retell her everything that I just told my camera how are you going <laughs> Good. <laughs> Have you started a new book yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm gonna start the guest list. Yeah, I'm like scared. Why? I'm not sure if you're gonna like That's this. okay. Yeah, I know. I just want you to have a good time every time. Well, it's not gonna happen, is it? I know. Right. But I'm only giving you the ones that I'd recommend, so like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's just confusing because there's lots of characters, but I don't know. I love that. <laughs> we know how I get with so many characters. <laughs> I'm also mad at myself, like not the book. I I'm just like, why can't I remember? Have you seen 
you seen Taken? Mm -hmm. This is so irrelevant to everything. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how young I was when I watched it, but mm -hmm. I, when I watched it as a kid, it literally traumatized, traumatized me. Like, I slept on my parents' bedroom floor for like three nights. Kind afterwards. of fair. And then the other night, I was like just scrolling through Disney Plus, finding You're a movie to watch. France. I know. And so I was like, not gonna lie, maybe that movie is why I thought I was never into travel. I'm like not a travel maybe. girly. But I was like, should I watch it just to see like if it's actually as traumatizing as I like yeah, thought it was? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting home alone, I watched Take It. That was a bit silly. But it was actually fine. Like I actually quite enjoyed it. <laughs> maybe that's why your parents let you watch it because like to an adult it's not yeah. so scary. Like they would have been like, oh yeah, like Like still scary because like my dad's not coming to get me like yeah. that. Yeah. That movie is traumatizing. It's kinda like the Truman Show for me. <laughs> Comment down below what movie traumatized you as a child. I also, for some reason, was traumatized by Enchanted, the dragon in it. I don't even remember what the movie's about, but I Enchanted remember. Enchanted as in, like, the girl who comes out of the sewer? Yeah. But there was a dragon <laughs> in remember, it. I don't remember, like, the I, plot of that movie. I don't either. I just remember, like, the one song. I just remember sleeping on my parents' floor. Oh, anyway, so when we go to Paris, I won't be getting in a cab with a stranger. What? You have so oh, much going on. We should probably go in. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all, thank you. Shout out to the My floor is $5.10. <laughs> it's a bit steep. <laughs> so steep. You know what clip of ours I think is underrated? What? The clip of you and I in my car going through Macca's drive through The day that you moved. Yeah. I like had to sleep in mine because <laughs> you didn't have anything. Electricity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. Just that. <laughs> just that clip. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that was fun. I kind of miss that house sometimes. <laughs> Me too. But like, I just remember the good. <laughs> yeah, when you romanticize only the good. Yeah. I look so good. Your hair looks, um, really good, by the way. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. It's still a bit darker than I think I want. Mm, but I, I like, like, it's not gonna happen overnight. No. You know, you know what? I've become very self aware of since you brought it up. What? Just like I'm taking so guess. sorry. <laughs> Doing like a bitching hair flick. Okay. I noticed it so much now. Like, I'll just go like that. I only really, really like, recently noticed it. I don't know why I do it. I'm just always like that. I think you did something and I was like, oh, you looked like a bitch just then. And I hated that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I because feel... I know that you're actually nice. Yeah. I'm like, don't look like it. I know. I think I just have a bit of a resting bitch face. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I didn't think I did until I got my passport photo taken. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, like, oh. I thought I was like low-key smiling. <laughs> <laughs> my Mac so is very much hungry. Me too. Can you give me a cup tray? Surely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you see? Oh no. Why are they laughing? Oh. <laughs> they they laugh. Don't do that. Like you're laughing at me. Surely. Oh no. But Immediately no. That was really scary. That was. I can't believe you Watch me that. never come back to this thing <laughs> ever again. No. That's so. Ugh. That's icky. So embarrassing. obsessed with mixing my greens with my pre-workout recently obviously like some greens taste better than others and while the good tasting greens taste good they still taste green so mixing them with pre that's a similar flavor to the greens is just phenomenal so if you haven't tried that already you're welcome can you see how red my lips are that's because they're dry and most likely sunburn. Isn't that crazy? I hate it for a couple of reasons. One, it hurts a lot. Two, I'm so insecure about my lips <laughs> and so the fact that they're like highlighted why? Why would you do that to me? I don't need that. Anyway, I think it's because I played soccer yesterday. They were already dry and then just running around in the cold air for 90 minutes really just did wonders. Soccer was actually really fun yesterday. This season has just been a little bit more rough than usual. Our team technically should be in a lower division and we just haven't been put down to that division yet. And I don't think we will because we're already so far into the season. And it's just like a bit unfair that we're versing teams that are obviously way, way better than us. It's just disappointing. Like our last two games, we 
lost 10 nil and then the other one we lost 14 nil and it's just like so defeating because you're out here trying your best you've come out just to have like a good time have a bit of a laugh get some movement in just like enjoy some community time and you're just getting flogged like it's just not fun at all but yesterday we lost 4-2 and I just feel like it was a really even fun game and I left remembering why I loved playing soccer so that was really fun but I'm very very sore so Grace and I are about to go into the gym and train upper I haven't been to the gym all week so I'm excited to see Grace excited to train <laughs> actually I'm not really that excited to train but I'm excited to like move my body and feel good up at the gym I feel like we really smashed out our session my lips are so dry I just feel like I'm slowly like falling out of love with the gym or just like lifting weights like I've been doing the same thing for a really long time and I'm not really excited about going to the gym and I'm not really loving it I think maybe going forward I might look at some other different types of movement that I can get into I really really just love my walking I feel like it's such a nice and gentle way to move your body I really do miss doing group fitness and like high intensity stuff like a Torah and stuff but as I complained about for so long already in this vlog I've been under the weather for like two months now and I just feel like it's really affecting my quality of life and doing gym classes is one of them like I just can't go to the gym and bust it out and give it my all when like I can't really breathe through my nose and I want to cough every second of every day but equally if I stop going to the gym as often I'm not going to see Grace as often and that's really sad so there's just pros and cons to everything but that's just kind of where I'm at right now which is really sad because I miss when I was really really passionate and loving lifting weights I feel like that was just like the peak in my life and I'm not there right now anyway I need to run a few errands I have a click and collect order to pick up from office works I bought a printer some paper and some ink really exciting adult stuff I haven't owned a printer since I moved out of home I always just go to my parents house if I need to print something but I literally like own a business so Georgia Richards Propriety Limited needs a printer so I finally bought one I need to go grocery shopping and I also need to go to a chemist warehouse so there's this tiktok trend oh those boys walking to their car oh they're right next to me that's really good i participated in the tiktok trend of people asking for like a skincare recommendation or hair care or whatever and then saying something really vulnerable and then ending the paragraph with like open to other suggestions if you're on tiktok you probably know what i'm talking about i feel like tiktok is such a fun app like i really really enjoy posting on it and i don't know why but i feel like i'm allowed to just be so vulnerable on there and i feel like the hate on tiktok is a lot more than any other app but I don't feel like it affects me as much because I know they don't follow me and like watch my vlogs and like follow me on Instagram so they don't actually know me so they're just like hating off like one literally like 10 second video so I don't actually so I don't care and it just like feels really nice and like freeing to like post on TikTok anyway it also has so many views which is scary how that just happens on tiktok it has 142k views of course the one where i'm being vulnerable does but i said what's everyone's fave lip balm i personally love purple but i feel like i'm gonna be alone forever because i'm so comfortable on my own and i can't see anyone coming and fitting into this life i've built for myself but i'm open to other lip balm suggestions and there's literally 174 comments and most of them are all telling me what their favorite lip balms are and i love it but a few people were telling me that purple is actually like the worst thing to put on your lips and obviously you can't believe everything you read on the internet but i want to go and buy a new lip balm because i've used pawpaw for literally my whole life so many people said dermal therapy lip balm is their favorite and it's not at chemist warehouse so i'm gonna go to office works woolies chemist warehouse and then home to winston i actually am really excited about this grocery haul i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know when you just do a grocery shop and you're just like yeah 
everything's phenomenal. First of all, I got little coconut sugar mini cans just so that like I don't go through a bottle way too quickly. And these are just really cute. So I got them. I also got some more diet right, some milk, and so ideal. Woolworths now stocks my muscle chef. So I got one that was on special that I need to eat today or tomorrow. And then I got three other meals for the week, which is just so ideal. Very convenient. I also got a box of tissues because as we all know, I am ill. If you have not tried these waffles yet, if you take anything away from this video, you need to try them. They are so good with Nutella, with butter and maple syrup, just up uh, phenomenal. Chocolate and toaster, unreal. Just got some bread. I also went to Chemist Warehouse, I got my lip balm, and I also got some Bali Body Gradual Tan. Soph has used this before, and it looks so good, and it's just like moisturizing your body, and then you just look tanner after, which is kind of very, very ideal. I also managed to get two bags of iceberg lettuce blend. Ideally, I would just want iceberg lettuce, but that is rare commodity these days. So I got two bags of that. I also got some bananas. I got some big ones and I got some little ones as well because I just thought they were really cute. I also got some frozen veg. I tried these last week and I really, really love them. There's just five bags of like a serving size of veg. So it's like broccoli, beans, peas, and corn. And you chuck it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and then you're done, ready to go. So ideal for someone who's so lazy but needs to eat more vegetables, AKA me. Speaking of healthy vegetables, I also got a bag of hash browns. I got some chicken breast. I got two chicken enchiladas. And I also got a pair of twizzers because I, twizzers? tweezers because I needed some new ones. But that's everything that I got. I had a very small breakfast before the gym, but not really enough. So I'm not really sure whether to have a huge breakfast now or just have lunch, but I'm kind of craving eggs on toast with hash browns. So I think we're going to have breakfast. Is it recycle bin week? I won't even be here to bring in my bins. Okay, so a couple of things. I currently have Arlo over because Grace is going to be out all day and I just thought that Winston and Arlo could just run around and have a good little fun afternoon together. So they're currently being menaces, so that's really great. I'm in my office and I haven't been spending a lot of time in my office lately at all, but this is where all of my active wear is kept in this little wardrobe here. And I have been so lazy with washing recently. So much so that I literally only put away my normal clothes, which is maybe like two track sets a week and like socks and underwear and that's all that I wear other than activewear and then I take all of my clean activewear and I have dumped it in this pile for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and maybe that's partly the reason why I haven't been coming in my office because like I just don't want to deal with the issue but it's a problem and I need to deal with it like the adult that I think that I am so this is a pile it's huge like I'm actually disgusted at myself I'm surprised I'm putting it on camera to be honest I need to organize my jumpers down the bottom I hang up all my shirts and all of my sports bras there's all of them here and then I have these tubs up here that I put my shorts and leggings in so it's time to do that I was very excited I am not I'm gonna chuck on some Grey's Anatomy while I do this and hopefully it is quicker than I expect but I don't really think it will be. In Grey's Anatomy they've just renamed the hospital. If you know what I'm talking about then you know but also like that's not a spoiler. So sad but I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. 